Like, how's it going, everybody? I am Money here, and you know what? You're gonna be watching <clears throat> nothing, yeah. nothing but a bunch of bogus shit. These actually are not gameplays. These are two of the most annoying games that I've played on my night of trying to get some gameplays. And I thought, you know, I post them because I want to rant. And before I get into the gameplay, I know you saw the intros, and yes, Team Money is finally sponsored. What the fuck are you doing there? Why are you there? Also, every time you see me shooting in the air, that's my what the fuck moment. That is, why the fuck are you there? Why the fuck are you fucking with me? Just why? Anywho, Team Money is finally sponsored, and I'm sponsored by VTS Productions. And I don't even know if they go by Productions or Sniping. If you look them up on Twitter, it's Sniping. I guess they go by both, either or. We are finally sponsored. And like I said before, I got offered a sponsorship by another company, and I didn't take it. And there was a reason why. I didn't feel it was the right move. But quite honestly, if this does make it to VTS Productions on their hub, that would be awesome. If not, I do understand because this is probably not the first video you would want as a representation of what you're going to be getting on my channel. But my subscribers do love my rants. And that is basically what this is going to be. So back to the topic at hand, being sponsored. The reason I chose this sponsorship is because I felt, or I, I feel, it's the right move for my channel and for where I want to go in terms of being a commentator. There was no talk of money or any of that good stuff. There's none of that good stuff. And that is pretty much why I chose um, to accept the sponsorship because... But honestly, the inbox was, hey, we sponsor, interested. And I thought, that's fucking amazing. I went to their hub, checked out their freaking hub, and I was like, you know what? Uh, I like how many subscribers you guys have. I do like that there aren't very many. Seriously, like, why are you there? I do like the fact that there aren't very many Call of Duty play, uh, gameplays on their channel. And that works out for me because it can be a positive and it can be a freaking negative. Um, on the positive side, it could be if people are into Call of Duty gameplays, I could be their primary source for gameplays. On the negative side, if people aren't into Call of Duty gameplays, I won't be getting many views. But then on another positive, I've always said I've wanted to branch out because I'm getting so tired of playing Call of Duty. It is so frustrating for me, quite honestly. These the games like this, they are so, so frustrating. And I want to play other games. I have been playing Assassin's Creed Black Flag and I actually did a commentary for it, but the commentary was too low. So I didn't use it. I'll start from scratch. But honestly, I want to get back to and why are you just standing there? I'm not there's not even a UAV up. You're just standing there for like 40 seconds, just waiting. But I want to get back to playing other games that make me happy. And you guys wouldn't know this, but I actually get all the games that are new. I have Grand Theft Auto, NBA 2K14, Assassin's Creed, and Diablo 3 and I never really get a chance to play them because I was always playing Modern Warfare 3 yeah, trying to get gameplays and not to say that I don't like Call of Duty and we're gonna get into that later on into the video once I start my rant but I do want to get into other games that I do enjoy playing and that I don't have the freaking like the stress over getting gameplays over because gameplays are extremely stressful and it's really hard to go back to just playing for fun once you start playing uh, Call of Duty for gameplays and getting into the clan mode and having to maintain a KDR, it is really rough and really stressful. So taking a break every now and then to play other games that I do enjoy playing would be a good thing. And I can post those to their hub channel and maybe it'll help get my channel more exposure and I can get back to, you know, being freaking happy again because my goddamn heart can no longer take this fucking game. It is fucking crazy. Now I guess we can get into the rant side of this. Call of Duty Ghost. Oh my fucking lord, Call of Duty Ghost. Like, where do we begin with this game? Like, the game... Let me be clear. A lot of people say a lot of negative things about the game. The game is fun, honestly. The, the, the way the game is built, the maps are too big, of course, everyone knows that. But the game is fun. It's the players that play the game that make the game not fun. Fun. and that is like my only that's my complaint about this game I don't like the fact that I get hit markers and hardcore but I can live with that quite honestly the vests aren't that good you can't put on multiple vests I guess I, I kind of see where they're going with that so you couldn't have like 
one player just run around beasting on someone because he keeps putting on a vest like Modern Warfare 3. So I, I understand that. The, the vests aren't too OP. It's pretty even. But it's the players that play the game. Like, why do you pay $60 to camp in an elevator or creep around a corner? Like, why was that guy there? Like, how long have you been sitting there? Just waiting for someone to run around a corner just so you can go negative. And that is my biggest thing I don't understand. Every game, I guess you could say, has the potential to be a really good game. It's how people play the game that make the game not fun. This ma These maps are so big. Like, why are you just going to sit in one spot and camp and just wait for someone? I I'll never understand it. I even made my class like I, I, I was running with um, the S2A and most hated God guys and they told me what I needed to put on my class because I was wondering why fucking quick draw doesn't work and apparently you have to have um, I guess lightweight quick draw and agility uh, whatever the first one is that makes you um, be able to lift your gun faster as you sprint if you put all three of those um, things combined you will win gunfights I promise you like before I didn't have I only had like quick draw <clears throat> and I had stalker and I was like you know my guns not lifting any faster I don't fucking understand it I thought maybe I was lagging and yeah lagging will play a little bit of a part as you can see that guy skipping across the fucking screen but for the most part it was because my gun wasn't lifting any faster than if I didn't have quick draw on but once you put all three of those perks on it works and I wish they would tell you like hey you need to put this this and this and this to actually have fucking quick draw on your class but they didn't say that and you have to figure out on your own but if you put all three of those things on your class you will fucking move like lightning and it, I moved so fast that I had to drop my sensitivity from an 8 to a 5 and I didn't really like that but honestly it evened out and I was kinda getting used to it so that's why I guess I didn't do I don't do that bad I guess I have a 2.0 in each of these games but either or the games were just so fucking frustrating and so irritating and I wish people would run around what the fuck, dude? You can't hop off anything in this fucking game. Yeah, urgh, just anger, anger, anger. Shoot at the wall and then spawn and run into a wall because you don't know where the fuck you are. God, this game is fucking nuts, dude. That's why, like, I want to... I can't wait. I hope this... I just want to branch out. If you're watching this on the VTS channel, if it does happen to get uploaded, all my commentaries are not like this, I promise you about you know a quarter of them are like this I fucking I love ranting I love fucking complaining I, ugh, it makes me happy honestly honestly like playing a game like this playing two games like this and then just dropping my controller saying I'm going to bed even though I'm supposed to be in bed an hour ago it's 6 30 in the morning and I'm wide awake and cuz I'm angry as shit honestly but being able to play games like this and to be able to talk about it is really awesome also because I know there's so many people out there that feel like I feel and you guys don't have capture cards or something so you don't really have the voices to let the community and the world know how you feel well goddamn it I bought a capture card and I'm gonna use it to fucking rant I got my goddamn my blue mic and I'm just gonna fucking go off because the shit is so fucking frustrating I don't know how many times I've said frustrating but we're gonna bounce back and forth between being sponsored and freaking I'm working on getting a uh, 1k Twitter followers which is awesome I'm almost there just to put that in perspective uh, four days ago I had 300 and I thought you know what I'm not really using Twitter to its full advantage because I have not been networking like I should be networking and honestly before I did this commentary I should have got on my phone and got down some of the guys names that I've been networking with I met like three or four cool ass people today on Twitter who also have YouTube channels we checked out each other's channels I like their content I subscribed to them and that was fucking it was really nice it was a good change of pace for today honestly I was really happy until I got on the game today waking up in the morning to see like hey you got a sponsorship uh, you got freaking 800 something followers all in like three days like geez Louise dude it was really it was really going good until like until the end of the game or until I got on the game and there's shit like this I'm like why are you in there what the fuck are you doing with your life like why just why and look at none of them get over 10 kills why what the freaking fuck man and this game was just as irritating I actually think these are the same people no this is a different lobby I I complained so hard that they had to back out I was like please just I'm lost don't don't worry I'm lost I didn't know that was down there. 
But I was like, we have to get out of this fucking lobby. Every lobby can't be like this. Wrong. Fucking wrong. Every lobby. We, we even played, I was playing with Odd Jobs. And, like, why are you there? I was playing with Odd Jobs and his homeboy. And we went to go play Hardcore Dom. Because the first game we played on Kill Confirmed, it, they were camping so fucking hard. It was ridiculous. So I was like, hey, let's go check out Hardcore Dom. At least we can hold some flags and maintain their spawn. How do you not die? I don't know. You tell me. Connection's perfect. But Hardcore Dom was so much worse. We played on Overlord. If you guys don't know about Overlord, it's like the deserty map. And there's a hangar. And that's where the B flag is. I swear to God, we're playing 6v6. There had to be motherfucking 15 motherfuckers in the hangar sitting in corners. It was, it was too much. And we threw up oracles. And all you see across the map are like bodies sitting in corners on the B flag. So if you kill one, like, hey, I'm going to go take C flag. As soon as you kill one or two, they spawn on C flag with you. Why? I don't get the spawns in this game. They're so fucking ridiculous. I think I get the most dumbest spawns in this game. And even right now, like, these guys are spawning back here. I didn't see them all the way, but I saw one red dot. And even as we're rushing that spawn, they're spawning there. It's It doesn't make any sense. Get sound horde. And no, I don't use amplify. I just got turtle beaches, bitch. But the shit is fucking nuts, dude. It's crazy. Wait till you see these motherfuckers on the Oracle towards the end of the game light up in this building. Because you can't see them as well. But towards the middle to the end of this game, you're going to see like three or four bodies light up. And I get killed by the one guy who's not lit up. And he's literally right around the corner from me. I didn't hear him or see him or anything. It's ridiculous, man. It's... It's ridiculous. What you guys know about that pullback move? You guys run into a firefight, pull back on your joystick and fire. That should be working. I don't know why it works, but I used it in Modern Warfare 3. I used it in Black Ops 2, and it, it works. I don't know why. But this game, like, it, something's got to give with Call of Duty. I told my friend today, because he was like, how's, how's Call of Duty Ghost? And I was like, you know, the game, the game plays so well. The hit detection is pretty much on point for the most part, even though... Like, none of those bullets hit, eh, whatever. For the most part, you could say, you know, the connection, it is what it is. We don't have dedicated servers like they said we had. You know, big companies, you know, scheming us to get their get their money worth. And they got us. They got every fucking one of us. But everything about the game, the graphics are good. The maps are too big. But, you know, hit detection's on point. Fucking none of the kill streaks are OP like, you, like they usually were. Which, you know, I don't blame them because... I don't think you want motherfuckers going 302 in a game because you call in like fucking six swarms or you spawn trap someone. So I kind of see the point of why they did some of the stuff. But at the same time, it's kind of like, hey, you're kind of working the game too much towards the noobs of the game. What about the people who need gameplays? What about the motherfuckers who aren't Jay Nasty or FFTK or fucking Green Goblin? Like, I, I'm a fucking human being. I'm a mere mortal. I'm not one of those dudes who maintains, you know, a 4.0 KDR. I maintain a 2-something. And, you know, that's pretty good for hardcore, but goddamn, you know? What about us mere, mere mortals who have to play the game against guys like this all the time? Like, we need something that's more fast-paced. And I told him, you know, the first company that comes out with a fast-paced game that caters to run-and-gun players with smaller maps like Strike Zone, they're going to they're gonna take Call of Duty's spot. And, honestly, I can't fucking wait. Because it's like every 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 game they cater to, to noobs or they fucking work the maps in such weird ways that it doesn't cater to run and gun players. And maybe there aren't that many run and gun players out there and maybe we are the minute. But for everyone that does YouTube, like there's so many people who do YouTube. Every one of them are run and gun players. There's only so many whatever that dude's name that Thunder was promoting that fucking camp all the time with riot shields and trophy systems there's only so many of those guys there's only so many trolls out there like everyone that plays the game you would you would assume they want to play the game to have fun and maybe camping in corners is fun maybe going six and fucking twenty is fun maybe you killing me in a corner and here i am like there's so many people in this building there's just one moving and, and as soon as i get closer to them there's like three or four motherfuckers just up there why are you all in the same fucking living room just chilling but maybe it's fun. Maybe I don't. I don't know what it is. But honestly, it's irritating. Like I don't know why you're here. There's, you can't. There's no field of view there. You're just sitting there. And like out of everyone, I get killed by the guy who's not on the fucking oracle. That's how that goes. But I really wish they would just have. I wish they'd split the lobbies. I get panic knife and hardcore one more fucking time. I swear to God, dude. 
I wish they'd split the lobbies up to people who want to camp and then people who want to run and gun. Or maybe have dedicated servers like they have on Battlefield. I haven't played the new Battlefield, but the last Battlefield, which I did not enjoy, had servers to where you can like, hey, you want to snipe? This is an all snipers lobby. And people didn't adhere to it, but at least you can have some lobbies and you can have it with your clan. So if people want to run and gun, they can play in that lobby and you can always have someone monitoring it. So if they're not adhering to the rules, you can kick them. So you don't have to. That just happened. I, I fucking, I swear to God, I yelled so fucking loud. I never have my mic on. I yelled so loud. My controller, like, I didn't do that on purpose. I was just grabbing it and shooting it and shaking the fucking controller. If it was a baby, I would have killed the fucking baby. I'd be in jail right now. I wouldn't have had no time to make a commentary. I'd be in jail right now. But that is the end of both these freaking gameplays. Everyone just chime in. What do we need to fix about fucking Call of Duty? Um... I'm fucking sponsored. That's a positive. Catch you guys next time, man. I fucking love all of you. I am money out.